welcome back to my channel make easy in this specific video i'll be showing you how to check given number or input number has zero at last or not you can check that input number has zero at last or not you can check that input number has one at last or not using the one simple steps let's go to the screen and let's see how to write program for that with dry run I'm using here QB64, which is easy to use. You can copy program, you can paste it here, just like Microsoft Office Word. And you can test the program very easily. If you don't know how to download and install it, you can watch my previous video and you can download it. Now program is, RAM is used to write the comment in the program. I have used here RAM program to check input number had zero at last or not. As you can see here, numbers, 120, 120 has zero at last this zero at last 121 121 has one at last 123 123 has three at last so we have to check that input number has zero at last or not user can enter any number we have to check whether that number has zero at last or not so the main important thing is you have to extract the last digit of the given number user will enter any number we have to extract last digit of that number and you have to check that whether that is zero or not. So we need one number for this program. So I will write here input, enter any number. And then I will store that number in n variable, numeric variable n, because this is a number. So we have to extract last digit of entered number. Number can be 120, 121, 123. So to extract last digit of the given number, we have to use here mod. So I will write here r equals to and that is user input number mod 10 and mod 10 means mod will gives the remainder and if we mod any number with 10 and means user will enter any number that can be 120 121 123 mod 10 then it will give the last digit of the number like example 1 to 1 so we'll get 1 120 will get zero last digit of the number and that will be stored in r so n mod 10 means divide n that is 120 120 and 123 user will enter the value any number divide that number with 10 and mods give the remainder so we'll get the last digit of the number after that we have to check whether r is zero or not r equals to zero if r equals to zero then we have to print number has zero at last number is n else we have to print number doesn't have zero at last we have used if so we have to write it end if and then end of the program so let's run the program and check whether it is working or not this line will extract the last digit of the number if we mod any number by 10 then we'll get the last digit of the given number so you have to make note of this mod will give the remainder but if any number mod 10 then we'll get last digit okay so enter any number we have written here input, enter any number, so I will enter 123. Number doesn't have 0 at last because we this number have 3 at last. This is working. <coughs> so I will enter here 120. Number has 0 at last. Number 120. It will extract the last digit that is 0. It will be stored in R and if R equals to 0, condition true because 120 have 0. We extracted that. True, then number has 0 at last. You can enter any number and you can check. Let me enter 1, 2, 3, 4. Number doesn't have 0 at last because it contains 4 at last. Fine. So, if question asked, check whether number has 1 at last or not. So, what we have to do? We'll write here same thing. R equals to n mod 10 because we have to extract last digit of the given number. Then after that we have in the condition we have to check here one if r equals to one because we have to check 
number has zero not one at last or not so r equals to one then 121 number has zero at last 121 so we have to change the message also here we have to write number has one at last so it will work for that if user asked question asked number have three at last or not so we have to write here r equals to three then print thank you for watching if you like the concept if you understand the concept click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with the friends have a good day and see you in the next video